Hello everyone, welcome back to Rafsoft Education and today we will continue our lecture in Graphics Java. So if you have any query, you can reach out us our, through our social media handle and if you interested in MCQS, you can join our telegram group C Programming 90 and you can also visit our website rafsoft.in for further information about graphics or various other programming topics so let's let's start our today's topic so today we will look closer to the gra gradient pen so in previous lecture we will talk about what is gradient pen and today we will look closely how to how to use gradient pen in java and also we today we create a gradient pen and use a rectangle use this to draw a rectangle so let's get started and see how it is we do, done it so gradient color is a multi-color system that is we can use two or more color where a color starts from one place that is start from here one place and get into another place so there is second color and it is get mixed here and here from here blue color start dominating and is go to end so gradient is a multi-color system we can use two color three color four color as many color as one but today we will only look to how to use two color so gradient is a multi-color system and in which we use two or more than two color to create a color gradient so in java to make a color gradient as we saw we need two gradient paint class so we create an object of gradient paint class through its constructor and then we use set paint method to set this gradient pen and draw the rectangle so to draw a gradient pen to create a gradient pen we use we need two color uh, for this example because it's a two color system or multicolor system and we can also need two points so we need two points to create that to know from where to where the gradient we have to draw and we can also set a boolean value does it a cyclic or a cyclic cyclic means it is repeat itself as here we can see it is repeating up its gradient and here we can see the gradient does not repeat so here it start with red and get into blue and further continue right side blue and left side red so to understand in more detail we use ms paint so here we start so first we define a paint point on a graphics plane so let's say we need to define a point x1 and x1 y1 and another point p2 it is x1 x2 y2 and we create a color c for here and color c2 here so the color first is start bold from here and get faded in this direction and from there the second color start dominating and get fully dominate up to here and if color is acyclic then color to continue in this direction that is direction of the line and color first is continue in this direction that is direction of the line and the color gradient we get is perpendicular to this particular line so the color gradient we get is perpendicular to the point p1 and p2 point p1 and p2 here i am using the object of point 2d point 2d class which is a class in java geometry object so let's get into ellipse to understand to create a color gradient so start our eclipse and here we first copy our previous code and create a new class called 
gradient gradient paint because gradient paint already in java so we call it gradient color and we finish it we can paste it and as we pasted it we need to change its method name sorry class name according to file name so here we have changed the name and now we need to clear the code from previous and now first we create a class gradient so for this we need two points so we point to the we need to import awt.geom for geometry and now we will create object of point 2d so i am here using a double value you can use float or double as you want so double and p1 and i'm using 50 50 value for my gradient and i can copy the previous code but let it go double so now i define my second point so for this particular i have defined 200 comma 200 second point mm. so it's a very large rectangle sorry height i defined 100 cause 250 is the last point of our drawing plan and now color we directly import from color class so creating gradient paint So first we pass first point and then the color dot first let's say we first want to blue color and then point p2 and then color dot uh, let's say red i always love capital letter and now drawing rectangle g2d dot Fill rect. Let's say, let's say we want to draw it from mm, because 50 comma 50 is the our starting point. So we use so we use 450. Let's draw rectangle to full full area and height 250. And now we run this program to see what get drawn we do not set that to using set pen so we use g2d dot set pen and g set the g pen to current pen constant because default is black so our previous get drawn in black so let's draw and now see we have drawn the color gradient here from blue might be from here so let's draw a dot on both points so we can see our point p1 and p2 so g2d dot set into color dot blfk black and we can draw two small rectangles at that point so g2d dot fill rect 
50 comma 50 and with we let's say is has two pixel width and two pixel height so we can see where our points are so let's copy the code for rectangle and paste it and draw the second point so our second point is 200 and 100 so now we can see where our points are to understand it better so now we draw and here you can see our first point so there here our first point and the color blue and here is our second point and color black now let's say we want to set it cyclic so to currently it is a cyclic so we want to say true that we want cyclic so we will now we get a repeated pattern work let's see here there is a dot starting point of blue and here is a start ending point for red color and then again it repeat from red to blue and it carry this further so this is the this is the difference between cyclic and acyclic and here we can see the color is perpendicular to this line if we draw a line from here to here hypothetically this color gradient is perpendicular to it now let's create a point mm, parallel to x axis so we need to set this height to 50 and height of point also to 50 so that x y axis remain constant and line gets parallel to x axis so now we draw here we can see that the line the color gradient perpendicular to x axis and here our two points are so this is the difference between previous code and code now so we will stop this lecture here and you can further experiment with it